Now, I'm excited about this one because Lenovo recently announced a new line geared towards small to medium businesses. It's called the ThinkBook line. And this is the first one out that they sent me. This is the ThinkBook 13S, and I'm really excited about it because it has a lot of things that I think not only business users will like about it, I think consumers will like it as well. It's a thin and light laptop with a lot of premium features, but it won't break the bank. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the Lenovo ThinkBook 13S coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. Today's video is brought to you by WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe. It's an all-in-one video processing tool integrated with video converter, compressor, editor, downloader, and slideshow maker. It's a must-have tool, especially for a content creator like me here on YouTube, where I'm constantly having to convert to different video formats. Whether it's come from a GoPro, DJI, DSLR, iPhone, or Android, I want to convert 4K HD video to a usable format that I need at the moment. And it couldn't be any easier. Step one, input the video you want to convert. Step two, choose the format. Step three, click the run button. That's it. It's that simple. Now it's a free download available for both Windows and Mac, so head on over to winxdvd.com to pick up your copy of WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe. I want to thank Digital Artie and WinX DVD for sponsoring today's video. Now before we begin in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, Lenovo sent this over for my unbiased opinion. I'm not being paid by Lenovo, I'm not being sponsored by Lenovo. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own, and no one is seeing this video before its release. And the review unit is on loan from Lenovo. Once this review is done, I will be sending it back to Lenovo. Now, before we get to the unboxing, here's a quick rundown of the specs. What you're looking at is a 13.3 inch Full HD IPS anti-glare display, a non-touch display with Dolby Vision HDR. It's also powered by the Intel 8th generation Core i5-8265U. You could also get it with the Core i7. Now, it's got Intel UHD graphics 620. It also has up to 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. My unit came with 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. It also has 256 six gigabytes of PCIe NVMe SSD storage, but you can get it with up to 512 gigabytes when you check out. It has a 45 watt hour battery that Lenovo claims will give you up to 11 hours in terms of battery life. As far as wireless is concerned, it has 802.11ac dual band wireless with Bluetooth 5.2. It comes in a thin and light package, 2.95 pounds or 1.34 kilograms, and it has a starting price of $730. Prices tested, $832. These are competitive prices. But that's enough with the specs. Let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. In the box is your extension cord along with a 65 watt power adapter that uses Lenovo's proprietary charging system a setup guide, warranty and safety information, and of course, the unit itself. Now, holding it for the first time, it actually feels really nice with its all metal design. It has a very premium feel to it, that's for sure. Now, as far as ports are concerned, here's what you get. On the left side is your power port, your HDMI 1.4, USB-C, Gen 2, and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And moving over to the right side, you get two USB 3.1 Type-A ports, and that's it. Two notable ports missing, no Thunderbolt 3 and no micro SD or full-size SD card slot. One of the best features of this laptop is its display. It's a 13.3 inch IPS non-touch anti-glare display. That means you're not going to get those unnecessary reflections. You're not going to get a lot of glare on this. And that's really good, especially if you need to do productivity work on this. Now, as far as watching Netflix, YouTube is a pleasure. Not only is this a really nice display, it's also a Dolby Vision HDR display. So watching high dynamic range content on this is really good. And it's a bright display, 308 nits. That means you can use this in both indoor and outdoor use. And it's even better because it's an anti-glare display. So sunlight's not much of an issue in my opinion. And it covers the color gamut really well. 98% sRGB, 74% Adobe RGB. So if you're a creative professional that does Lightroom, Photoshop, and video editing, this is a good choice. It has some deep blacks, it has some really good contrast and vibrant colors. This is everything you'd want in a nice full HD display. It doesn't disappoint in that regard. 
and it has some pretty slim side bezels which is pretty good for a business focused laptop it's more of the consumer look in my opinion and that's pretty good and I love the fact that the screen folds all the way flat as you see here giving you great viewing angles I wish all laptops had this feature and the hinges are very strong and sturdy very little screen flex I like that now when it comes to the keyboard it's actually more akin to the IdeaPad style keyboard than it is to the ThinkPad style keyboard but having said that good tactile feedback good key travel and overall good typing experience now it does have a two-stage backlight that allows you to get worked on in a dark room or a dimly lit environment and that's always great and I like the touchpad as well. And it's good to see they use precision drivers, very responsive. All your Windows 10 gestures work well. Two finger scrolling is buttery smooth. Everything is looking good in terms of the touchpad. So this is the front facing camera on the Lenovo ThinkBook 13S, all new here for 2019. And this is a 720p 30 frames per second webcam. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think about it. I think it's okay it'll definitely do the job for skype it'll definitely do the job in terms of video conferencing again i want to know what you think let me know and i love the fact they include the think shutter switch allowing you to turn off your webcam to give you more security and privacy now unfortunately my review unit doesn't have an infrared camera for windows hello login but the power button does double as a fingerprint scanner and it worked really well setup was easy and registered my finger every time i used it great for windows hello login Okay, let's talk about the performance. It's actually really good. Now, the review unit that Lenovo sent me is the ThinkBook 13S with the Core i5-8265U. That's an 8th generation Intel processor. It's a quad-core processor with 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. As far as graphics are concerned, you're looking at the Intel UHD Graphics 620, so nothing special there. There's no dedicated GPU option on the ThinkBook 13S. Now, the ThinkBook 14S will have a dedicated GPU option. I hope to get a review unit very soon, so stay tuned for that. But as far as the ThinkBook 13S, it's really good for productivity, doing Microsoft Office, email, web browsing. You can consume media on this, watching Netflix, YouTube. Very good, enjoyable experience on this. No real complaints in that regard. Now, as far as gaming is concerned, this is not really a gaming laptop, although you can play some of the older titles if you lower the settings. But if you want to play the more modern AAA titles on their highest settings, you can forget about that. It really is not playable on this. It really can't handle those kind of graphics now as far as adding an external gpu unfortunately there's no thunderbolt 3 port on this so that is really not an option but again this is really geared towards small to medium businesses so gaming is not going to be the focus productivity is and this is a very good productivity machine now I love the fact that Lenovo makes it easy to get inside this laptop so all you have to do is remove the t5 torque screws remove the bottom plate and you're in now once inside you'll notice the dual fans that it does have we'll talk about that in just a moment and you also will notice the 45 watt hour battery now the ram is upgradable as it's not soldered in there are slots for that you will have to remove this cover once done you can change out the ram the maximum amount of ram that this supports is 32 gigabytes now you can swap out the ssd if you choose but the one they do give you gets some pretty decent reads and writes as you can see from these crystal disk mark results and you could also swap out the Wi-Fi card if you so choose. Now when it comes to thermals, it never went above 44 degrees Celsius, which is actually pretty good, never getting uncomfortably hot, getting a little bit warm, but nothing more than that, as you can see here. Now, as far as the fans are concerned, they will kick in when you're really pushing this laptop. But under normal use, when you're really doing everyday tasks, it doesn't really kick in. And it's pretty quiet when it does. It's not overly loud, not really annoying. So that's good. And with any thin and light laptop, you're going to see thermal throttling, especially when you push it to its limits. This is no exception, although I think the thermals are really good on this and they did a really good job in terms of the cooling. The ThinkBook 13S has audio by Harman and these downwards facing speakers are actually decent. They're not great, but they're not terrible either. They have decent volume, there's mids, and it does have a little bit of bass, but not much. But I would say the overall audio experience is okay. Now, as far as battery life is concerned, I was actually impressed. They did a very nice nine hours and four minutes on my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 150 nits. That's pretty much an all day battery. And that's exactly what I want to see from a thin and light laptop. So that 45 watt hour battery does come through. Now, if you do need to plug in, they do supply you with a 65 watt power adapter. 
that uses Lenovo's proprietary charging connection. Unfortunately, you can't do USB-C as far as charging on this, but it does take a full two hours to give you a full charge on this, which isn't too bad. So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the all new ThinkBook 13S from Lenovo? And the answer is yes, I think this is a very interesting choice for both consumers and of course business users. Now here's what I like. I like the bright, sharp Dolby Vision display. It's really nice. I like its sleek metal design, good performance, good thermals, and the very good battery life and the overall good value that it provides with a very good starting price of $730. Now the things I'm not crazy about, lack of thunder all three ports and there's no SD or micro SD card slot for storage expansion. There are no real deal breakers here ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to give this a score of 87% making the Lenovo ThinkBook 13S worth your money. So what do you think about this bad boy, the all new ThinkBook 13S? I think Lenovo's onto something here. I think not only business users are gonna like this, consumers will like it as well. I like its starting price of $730. I like the fact that you're getting a decent processor. You're looking at on this one, the Core i5-8265U, a Whiskey Lake processor with a quad core in it. And as also, I like the fact that you can get it with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now this review unit has eight gigabytes. And remember, it's DDR4 RAM, not DDR3. So that's always good. And I like the options on this as far as the display. It's a matte display or an anti-glare display more accurately. And it really shows that it can be really good in both indoor and outdoor use. It doesn't show the unnecessary glare or reflections. And I like that, especially if you want to do productivity work, good keyboard, good touchpad that uses precision drivers, and really good battery life. You're looking at nine plus hours. And to me, that's all day battery life. That's something we do look for in a 13 inch thin and light laptop. I'm gonna get the 14S hopefully very soon. That has a dedicated GPU option. I can't wait to get that in the studio to test it out. And I'm a really big fan of the ThinkBook 13S. It appeals to business users, consumers, and even students. It's a good price and a good performance. That's a pretty good combination. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.